Hello friends, welcome to Legends and today we look at how you can find the effective resistance of resistors which are neither in series nor in power. Now it is not always that resistors are in series or in power. There are some circuits that we cannot identify any two resistors to either be in series or in power. Now let's consider this circuit that we have over here. We cannot term any two resistors to be in series because there is a node between any two of the resistors. And also we cannot say any two of the resistors are in power because it is not possible for us to transverse around any two of the resistors without passing through another element. And so it was therefore important to introduce another method or another way of solving or combining these resistors and this two or way of doing that is what we refer to as delta star transformation or star delta transformation this transformation considers a combination of only three resistors at a time we consider only three resistors at a time and so now three resistors are said to be in delta if the three resistors are connected end to end, as we can see over here, these three resistors R1, R2, and R3 are connected end to end at point A, B, and C. It's either in this form or that R1, R2, R3 connected end to end at the point A, B, C, and then D. Obviously, three resistors are said to be in star or why when all the three resistors have a common point of connection as we see over here so this is the star connection or the y used in the form of a y the resistors r a r b and c r c all have a common point here which is a now resistors in delta can be transformed to star and then also we can also change resistors in star to delta and once we do that some resistors tend to be in series or in parallel and that helps us to find the effective resistance or the total resistance all right so now let's see how we can convert from delta to star and then also from star to delta using this circuit diagram that we have here now we can see r1 and r2 r3 are connected in delta since they are connected end to end and then r a r b and r c are in star connection because they have a common point over there so now this is what happens when we are converting from delta to star what happens is that we are trying to convert R1, R2, R3 which are in delta form to star in the form of RA, RB and RC so now to convert from delta to star we multiply the two resistors which is next to the star value to be obtained in our case considering RA then we multiply the two resistors which is next to the star value to be obtained the two resistors next to RA in our case is R1 and R2 and so we multiply the two resistors next to RA then divide by the sum of the whole three resistors so we divide by R1 plus R2 plus R3 Similarly with RB, the two resistors next to it is R1 and R3. And so we multiply the two, which is R1 and R3, and divide by the sum of the three resistors. With RC, we have the two resistors being next to it to be r3 and r2 this is rc so we have r2 and r3 being next to that 
and so we multiply the two is r3 r2 and r3 and divide by the sum r1 plus r2 plus r3 so now let's see how we convert from star to delta what happens is that we are trying to change r a r b and r c which is in the form of star connection to delta to now become r1 r2 and r3 what happens is that we are trying to convert this whole thing here r a r b and r c to now look like r1 r2 and r3 which is in the delta form and so what happens is that we add the two resistors next to the delta value to be obtained considering r1 the the two resistors which are close or next to it are ra and rb and so we add that two resistors RA plus RB and then add it to the product of the same two resistors that is RA and RB divided by the other resistor which is RC that we see over here similarly when we consider R2 the two resistors next to it are RA and then RC and so we add that two resistors RA plus RC and then add it to their product RA multiplied by RC then divide it by the third resistor in this case it becomes RB then with R3 The two resistors now become RB and then RC. So we, must, we add those two resistors, RB plus RC, then add it to their product divided by the other resistor. In this case, it becomes RA. So now, once we do these conversions, some resistors appear to be in series or in parallel. And that helps us to find the effective resistance of those resistors. Now, the conversion as to whether to convert from star to delta or delta to star depends on you. Whichever one you think will be easy for you, pair the circuit diagram that will be giving you. So, let's have a look at an example below and see what happens. Now, it's not possible for us to find any two or more resistors in this particular circuit to be in either series or power so the only option left for us is to identify any three resistors which are in star and then convert it to delta or which are in delta and convert it to star as soon as we do that some series or power combination will emerge and that will help us to find our effective resistance so now we can see that the three 6 ohm resistors 1, 2, and then 3 are delta connected because they are connected end to end. We have one node here and one node. They are connected end to end. Also, 6, 3, and then this 3 as well are also connected in delta. And then also, the 2 6 ohm and then this 3 ohm resistor are connected in star we can either change this which is in the data form to star that in the data form to star or the star connection over here to data as earlier said it depends on you whichever one you want to change but in this example i'm going to change this to three six ohm resistors which are in data to star so let's see how we do that now this is what it becomes. We are trying to change this 6, 6 and then this 6 ohm resistors which are in delta 2 now become in the form of a star connection which is RA, RB and then RC. So as earlier said, 
we have this our RA is going to be multiply the two resistance which is less to that RA and so in this case we have 6 and then 6 then divided by the sum of the whole three resistance 6 plus 6 plus 6 and that gives us 2 ohm similarly RB also becomes 2 resistance close to 6 and then 6 so it becomes 6 by 6 dividing 6 plus 6 plus 6 it also gives us 2 ohm I'll see as well becomes 6 by 6 6 plus 6 plus 6 it also becomes 2 ohms now once we do the conversion all these resistors which were in delta connection goes away because we've not changed them to now look in the form of star connection and so our circuit now becomes in the form of this so now we can see that these two and three are in series which is in parallel with the serial connection of two and then three and all in series with this two ohm resistor that we have here and so our out now becomes two and three in series two plus three in parallel with the series connection of these two and three parallel with the series connection of two and then three and then all that in series with two that's actually how we represent power connection and then series with a plus it comes five power of five or in series with two which turns out to be five by five over five plus five plus two and then we get our answer to be 4.5 oh. so that's all guys make sure you subscribe to stay connected thank you